There's two new contenders that have come on the market, Elko and Bixby, and they just came out recently. But there's something very different about these motors, and I want to talk about that in this video. The neat thing about these two new ones is they are American brands. However, well, let me show you the motors and let's talk about that. First one right here is from Elko and it just hit the market. It's their Edgemere EP3TS, which is just an awful name of, for an electric outboard motor. Elko, come on guys, come up with a better name than this. It's $2,990, which is the same price as the E-Propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus, the Romigo 1, and maybe some others in the three horsepower equivalent range. Let's look at some of the specs of the Edgemere EP3TS. Comparable horsepower, three. Voltage, 36 volt. Some of them are 36, like the Newport NT300. Others are 48 volt. Input power, 1,200 watts. Now that's a little bit more watts than a lot of the other ones. A lot of the other ones are 1,000 watt motors. This one is 1,200 watts. It's a little bit more powerful. A 1,440 watt hour battery. That's a little bit bigger than a lot of other ones. The E-Propulsion Spirit battery is, I think, about 1,200 watt hours for a 1,000 watt motor. Total weight, 48 pounds. It's brushless tiller control. Bixby's new motor is $2,299, so it's priced like $700 cheaper. It's the N3 Outboard Motor and Battery Kit, and it comes in two shaft lengths. I'm not sure if the longer shaft is going to be a different price or not. You can pre-order this right now. They just released this motor. So here's the specs of the Elko Edgemere, and here's the specs of the Bixby. If you notice, our comparable horsepower is exactly the same. Three horsepower. The voltage, 36 volts, exactly the same. Input power, 1200 watts, which is 1.2 kilowatts, exactly the same. Battery capacity, 1440 watt hours, and compatible battery, Bixby NB 1440 power pack, exactly the same. Motor, brushless, brushless. One says PMAC, don't know what that means. The other one says PMSM. I don't know what that means, but they're both brushless. And the weight of the Edgemere is 48 pounds, and the weight of the Bixby is 44 pounds, but that's the short shaft, and the other one might be the long shaft, so their weight might be exactly the same, which is curious to me. Here is the Elko and the Bixby side by side. Do you notice anything similar here? You can't see it with the Bixby one, but there are two cables there. And other than the black part of the tiller handle, they look exactly the same. Here's both of them with their battery in place. You can clearly see the two cables on the Bixby. They look exactly the same. I implore any of you to let me know if you can see any difference between these two motors. And when I say they're the same, they look exactly like this motor right here. The Parson Joy 1.2 electric outboard motor. Three horsepower equivalent, 1.2 kilowatts, 1440 watt hours. Sound familiar? Now, I couldn't find anybody in the US selling this at the moment. But this website here in Canada lists it for 3,750 Canadian, which is 2,739 US dollars. So priced between the Bixby and the Elko, which is interesting. And here's the Parson next to the Elko. Yeah, that looks exactly the same to me. Here's the Parson next to the Bixby. Yeah, that looks exactly the same to me. Let's just double check all of our specs here. I put them in a table. Three horsepower, 36 volts, 1200 watts, 1440 watt hours. Now, in Bixby and Elko's defense, they do not indicate on their website that this is a US made motor, and they do not claim that there is any US content in there, but they are. I think Bixby's an American company. I know Elko is, been around for a very long time, and they've made electric outboard motors for a very long time. 
What I think both of these products are is what's known as a white label product. And the AI definition of a white label product is a generic good or service produced by one company, the manufacturer, and rebranded by another company, the reseller, to be sold under the reseller's own brand name. In other words, here's what I think is happening. The Chinese company, Parson, has chosen not to sell their electric outboard motors directly in the U.S. through agreements with Elko and Bixby. And Elko and Bixby have white-labeled the Parson Joy 1.2 electric outboard motor to sell as their own motor. And there's nothing wrong with this. This is a common practice. I am not picking on Elko and Bixby for doing this. I'm just letting you know what I'm seeing and what it means. So don't think that an American company has all of a sudden started making a three horsepower electric outboard motor. They haven't. They've white labeled a Chinese Parson electric outboard motor. Now, I have no experience with Parson motors. I don't know if they're any good. I don't know if they're terrible. I imagine from what I've seen that it's not as bad as a Hankai, but maybe not as good as an e-propulsion Spirit. Um, Parson hasn't been doing this as long, and they're probably copied a lot from the e-propulsion Spirit and the Torquedo. Not that there's anything wrong with that. The Parson motors might be perfectly great. The advantage of the Bixby version is that they are selling it a lot cheaper than an e-propulsion Spirit than the new Elko, which is the same product, and the Remigo 1. I do not have any deals with Bixby. Matter of fact, I had actually reached out to Elko and to Bixby to try to be one of the people to try these motors out first, and neither of them got back to me. So, possibly because they were concerned I was going to make a video like this, calling them out for rebranding a Parson. I'm not sure. Now, obviously, if in the future I ever get an opportunity to try the Parson Joy, or the Bixby, or the Elko Edgemere, and compare them to my e-propulsion, my Remigo, or any other small electric outboards I have at the time, I would love to be able to do that. This may be a really good motor. I like the fact that it's a little bit more powerful and a little bit larger battery. Whether or not that means anything in the real world, I don't know. Sometimes I've found when testing these things out that this little bit of a difference with the horsepower uh, is so marginal that, you know, you're just seeing one-tenth or two-tenths of a mile an hour faster on the water. And, um, you know, is that really worth it? I do like the fact that it's at a lower price point and uh, in regards to the Bixby. I hope Elko maybe looks at that and considers pricing theirs a little bit cheaper as well. Um, either way, there are two new players on the market, and I just wanted you to know about it, but I also wanted you to know that you're not getting an American-made product. You're getting a white-labeled Chinese product made by Parson. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Anyway, where should I put it? How about here? Here's the next video YouTube has picked for you. It's a good one. Be sure to watch it. I'll see you in that video. Oh, one more thing real quick. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.